Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, September 24th. President Obama went before the United Nations General Assembly today, urging peace in the Middle East, but renewing his pledge that Iran would not be allowed to develop a nuclear weapon. The president called on the so-called Arab Spring countries that have overthrown dictators to embrace democracy and work on the slow process of reform. He added that the United States will do what it must to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. He added that time to resolve that issue diplomatically is not unlimited. Obama's campaign opponent, Mitt Romney, was in New York City. The GOP challenger spoke to the Clinton Global Initiative, headed by former Democratic President Bill Clinton. Romney called on the U.S. to rethink the way it provides aids to foreign country. He said the United States is the most charitable nation in the world, but sometimes does not do all it can to see that its funds are used effectively. He called on more involvement by the private sector to encourage free enterprise in developing nations. Vice President Joseph Biden remains on the offensive against Romney and remarks he made in a secret videotape made public last week. Biden told a county fair audience in Virginia that Romney's comment about the 47 percent of Americans who don't pay taxes and rely on the government shows he's out of touch. He pointed out that the 47 percent still pay Social Security, state, local and property taxes. And the Supreme Court has decided to take up a legal question that has divided courts and lawmakers around the country. The question is whether police must get a warrant before ordering blood tests for suspected drunk drivers if those drivers won't submit to tests voluntarily. The case coming to the High Court is from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. There have been rulings on both sides of the issue in various states. The Supreme Court's new term begins on Monday. That's your political news roundup for Tuesday, September 25th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news all day long.